Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Just another day of surviving the summer holidays. Excuse the camera shaking, by the way. Um, it's not on its tripod at the minute, so I'm holding it with my hands. I did a little bit of weeding this morning and my arms and my legs are still wobbling. <laughs> they feel like jelly. It was really hard work. I didn't actually enlist the boys help even though it was on our bucket list purely because it was hard work and I know that they just wouldn't have enjoyed it. Um, so they just stayed in the living room and played with Avery for me for a little bit so that I could get the weeding done. Um, Avery's just been fed and we are all having a pajama day today which I am absolutely okay with because we're not going anywhere today, we're not seeing anyone today and I don't know no other reason really but we're comfortable so we're all staying in our pajamas the boys are happy with that avery has been changed because she pooed through but i've just popped her back into a clean vest so that she's nice and comfy as well i cannot believe i'm wearing my dressing gown in august like i don't know what's going on with the weather we are apparently supposed to be getting a little bit of nice weather soon so fingers crossed for that speaking of weather i am just looking outside to make sure it's not started to rain because my washing is out on the line so it was mine and josh's wedding anniversary this last weekend um two years of marriage and uh once again josh absolutely spoiled me rotten um totally unnecessary but that is just who he is i honestly don't think he can help himself at this point because no amount of begging and pleading that he don't spend much money on me it just never works and obviously i'm so incredibly grateful and so lucky um he is really really sweet and he just likes to do things like that i don't know he has always been like that with me um anyway josh had actually been listening to the things that i've been saying about the kitchen and what i'd like for it and the little bits that were on my list one of those things was um actually a um like a wooden footed cake stand that had a glass dome um you probably know what i'm talking about but um, I'd seen them online and um, I knew I could get one relatively inexpensively. I think I could have got the cake board for around £15 and then the dome for maybe another 10 to £15, so around £30. So I knew it was achievable, however, we went into town on Saturday purely because we had no other plans and we just didn't want to be stuck in the house on our anniversary weekend. So uh, we actually went into town on Saturday and then we went to a car boot on Sunday which was really, really good. I managed to pick up a couple more really cheap, nice looking cookbooks. Um, I'll show you my little book collection in a minute. It is actually um, building quite nicely and it's all mostly charity shop books and car boot sale books, which is really good. But anyway, we went into Pro Cook while we were in town because I told Josh about the cake stand that I wanted and he was absolutely determined to find one for me. I told him Pro Cook is a waste of time purely because I feel like I've said purely because about three times already. Um, because um, I knew I could find cheaper online. I'd already seen cheaper online. Pro Cook is really good quality, yes, but the price tag kind of comes with it. But he was determined, so um, I appeased him. We went in there, and lo and behold, we found exactly what I was looking for. And I told Josh he really didn't need to get it because I could find the one that I wanted online or I could find similar online for a fraction of the price. However, he wasn't taking no for an answer. And he bought me this one. Pro Cook actually had two. They had this one and a smaller version. Um, he insisted on getting the bigger version because as you guys know, I like to bake cakes. But he has told me that in return, I am to keep it stocked which I'm happy to oblige. So I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, it's still in its box at the moment just because I haven't done any baking since I got it, but I love it so much. It's just got a wooden base and then this almost kind of, um, it's not square obviously because it's round, but it's got like a sort of squared shape to it as, a, as opposed to an actual dome. But I absolutely love it. And then if that wasn't enough on Sunday on our actual anniversary, Josh popped into town because I asked him to get some um, money out uh, from the bank for me for the car boot sale. And he comes back with this. 
I feel so incredibly spoilt. I was not expecting this as a matter of fact. Josh and I went into the White Company a couple of weeks ago and um, we saw this and Josh said to me, is that something you would like? And I said, I like it, but I know that I can find cheaper online. And this is usually my answer for everything, but Josh is very much the kind of person that if you're gonna buy it, buy it right, buy it once. So he came home with this and I think I'm still in shock guys. If you know the White Company, this, you know, it's quite a notorious product. This is 70 pounds and just wow. I'm so happy to have it. I still cannot believe that Josh just went and bought it. And then to go alongside it, he also bought me a um, an oil to use in it. This is the Seychelles one. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Yeah, this is the Seychelles one. It smells amazing and I have already tested out the oil diffuser. It's really, really good, really powerful and it, it filled the kitchen. The smell filled the kitchen, which was really, really lovely. And I think what I'm most excited about is um, at Christmas time, I can pick up the winter and fireside scents, which I have never owned before, never tried. But this year, purely for the fact that I now have this, I am definitely gonna invest in those scents because the oils are £10 each. Again, they are not very cheap, but you only need two to three drops. Excuse me, that was my watch. You only need two to three drops of this each time you fill up the diffuser. So it will last for ages. And I'm so excited for the winter scents. The Seychelles is a lovely summer scent. I'm definitely gonna keep using that one, but really excited to get winter and fireside. So yeah, incredibly spoilt, incredibly lucky, lucky girl. Um, but we had generally a chilled weekend. We just did a little bit of window shopping. Obviously Josh did a little bit of shopping shopping. Actually, there are a couple of things I bought on Saturday. I decided to buy some new to tubs, some new tubs to redo Avery's medicine cabinet. Um, as you guys know, if you follow my channel, she has an entire cabinet just for her medications and her daily syringes. And I just thought this looked really, really nice. These are from Wilco's. Um, I like the sage green color. So this one's got all of her syringes that we use on a daily basis. This is all of her medications that we use on a daily basis that are shelf stable. And then in this one, I keep all of her bottle caps. And then also in that bottle there are kind of um, syringe caps. And then we keep her fresh sterile water in there just so that everything that we need uh, multiple times a day is all on this shelf. These are all of her daily meds, obviously aside from the Bokal Medazlam, but I like having that kind of near. Um, so these are all of her daily medicines, but they're backups. So they're ready to go when these ones run out. And then up here are stuff we don't use on a daily basis, um, but still handy to keep in the cupboard. One more update. Um, we had a delivery this morning. Avery's sleep system has arrived. So, excuse the noise in the background, that's the boys, they're just eating their lunch. If you haven't been following or you missed where I mentioned about Avery getting a sleep system, um, we've been expecting this for quite a while. The reps came, I'd say maybe a month or two ago and she got fitted, not fitted, but tested out for a sleep system just to see what kind of system she would need. So these are all the parts. Um, I have contacted Avery's um, occupational therapist, so I'm not gonna touch any of this because I don't know how to put it all together and get it into her bed. I know it's quite easy. It all kind of sort of sticks and Velcros to a sheet in the bed and then another sheet gets laid over top of it, which is completely breathable. So it's 100% safe for her. And it means that Avery will essentially be wedged in when she's sleeping. So. Um, it will help with her posture overnight because at the moment overnight It's essentially a time that is kind of wasted when it comes to Avery's posture because she's got no sort of support in bed um, But between the sleep system and also um, orthotics not sorry not orthotics orthopedics um, We're talking about her having some Gaiters between those two that's a lot of extra posture support for her in bed when she's sleeping Which will be really good for her kind of general bone development and also 
Um, we're hoping to be able to attach the sleep system in a way where I can just move one or two pieces and have the option to have Avery side lying in bed, which I'm really excited about. A, because if she's lying on her side, she is much less likely to choke on reflux or vomit. Yes, we have the SATS monitor, but it's still not nice to experience it. And it has happened a few times where we've had to rush in and roll her over onto her side. Um, and B, I'm really hoping that her being on her side a bit more will give her head a chance to round out a little bit at the back. It is still quite flat, um, which is totally cosmetic it's not doing any harm to her and it's kind of a given since avery doesn't love her equipment very much and even if she did the headrests are usually against her head and she can't support herself unaided she can't sit up so she is always putting pressure on the back of her head so it's kind of a given that her head is still quite flat but it's not doing her any harm like i said it's nothing to worry about it is just a cosmetic thing but anyway I have contacted her OT, so hopefully it won't be too long until we can get this fitted in her bed and start using that. I've got no idea what her bed's going to look like after this. I know it's going to look all lumpy and bumpy. Hopefully I can still make it look pretty because I've put a lot of effort into her bedroom transformation. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. Another update. This week we are meeting Avery's new community care nurse. Um... I didn't realise um, Avery's care um, community nurse was um, handing us over to someone else, but apparently she's starting a new role and she's only keeping a select, a select few children in her care. And we're being handed over, which I'm quite sad about because I loved Avery's nurse. She was really keyed up, she was really knowledgeable, and she was really... I don't want to say bossy, but she would get stuff done if you needed to get it done. So um, I'm a little bit sad about it. And not only that, when I spoke to the new community nurse on the phone, she referred to Avery as a he. So that immediately got my back up. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to give her the benefit of a doubt because not a lot of people, I say not a lot of people, some people aren't very confident speaking on the phone. Some people don't shine speaking on the phone. I know I don't. Um, so I'm going to wait to see her in person, which is this week. I'm meeting her in person. Um, there's a few things that I would like to catch up with her about, such as Avery's advanced healthcare plan, because that seems to be forgotten about. And I need to chase that up because it's quite important that we have that in place now. Um, if you're not familiar with an advanced healthcare plan, it's just a plan that is in place on the system. Should Avery ever go into hospital in a, a, a very emergency type situation? um it's kind of guidelines for avery in a sense on what we do want them to do what we don't want them to do as it stands our opinion at the moment is avery is for everything whatever it takes to stabilize avery it needs to be done so essentially it's just something on the system that says that so doctors need don't need to waste time asking us they can just go ahead and do it hello hello what's up I mean, Eli's just trying to punch me. Eli? You punch me? Boys, please don't punch each other. You have these on cracking crisps in my eyes. This is what they're like all the time. All the time. <laughs> Roll on September. Anyway, um, yeah, so the advanced healthcare plan also, I need... I need to kind of make her aware that Josh is going to be taking Avery to Wales soon just to make sure she can contact the community nurse team over in that area and give us the number just to make sure that they know Avery is going to be in their kind of jurisdiction should anything go wrong, should we need help or should Josh need help, should I say. Um, we do that whenever we travel for more than like a day or two in the UK because um, the alert can be put out to... Um, the community nurses in whatever area we're going to, um, just to say Avery's in your area, she has complex medical needs, um, can you be available if the parents need any help, essentially. So yeah, need to talk to her about that. Um, but yeah, I think that's mostly all of the updates. Um, this week's quite a slow week, like I said, we've got the appointment with the nurse and, oh, one more thing, we're going to Little Harbour on Wednesday, which I... <laughs> I really, but I, I really hope you can hear Zach in the background right now. Um, so yeah, 
I'm going to Little Harbour on Wednesday. Ah. It, is, it is just a day visit, so just a four hour visit. But my mum's coming with us, yes. um, which is why I kind of booked in for it really. My mum has never been, so I thought it would be really nice to take her there. Let her see what it's all about. Uh, maybe she can take Avery in the hydrotherapy pool. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's always nice to go to Little Harbour. It's just a nice little break away. It gets us out of the house and just into another environment that is safe. And we know that, you know, if something were to go wrong, we don't need to panic because we're in the right place. It's, it's almost like being in a hospital in terms of the medical side of things, but by no means is it like a hospital, it's not. It's like a big family house with lots of activities, but you feel just as comfortable knowing Avery is medically safe as being in a hospital, if that makes sense. So those are our plans for the week. Um, yeah, other than that, just have a few bits and bobs to do. We go away in two weeks, so I need to start prepping for that. Normally I'd be packed by now. I'm the kind of person that has things ready for a holiday weeks in advance, but as you guys know, I'm just not able to look forward to it as much as maybe I should have if Josh and Avery were going, but hey ho. Anyway, this has turned into the world's longest intro. I am gonna get Avery in her stander in a minute, I think, and try and get her tired out so she'll go for a nap in a little bit and maybe do a bit of baking with the boys. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view. After so, slight change of plans. Um, Avery was quite tired after I'd got all the uh, ingredients out, so I decided to give her a cuddle and get her down for a little sleep. Oh dear. Um, before we did anything else, because if I'd have tried to put her in a sander, it's okay. When she was tired, okay. She wouldn't have lasted very long in it. <laughs> okay. So she's had a sleep now. She's not long woke up. Her reflux has been pretty bad the last few days. She could be getting ill, which I feel like I've been saying for a little while now, and we're kind of just waiting for it to happen if it does. <coughs> or her body could just be a little bit weaker because we are transitioning or weaning Avery up on her topiramate dose. Um, she's been a little bit more tired as well and I can only put it down to weaning her up on that dosage because it's an anti-epileptic drug generally. They can have a slight drowsy effect so She's okay, she's just a little bit more refluxy, a little bit more tired. She's having great night sleeps though. So that's a bonus, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, a cough and a smile. A cough and a smile. So, <laughs> we are going to be making trash can cookies. Trash can. Trash can cookies. On the hill. They're also known as kitchen sink yeah. cookies. Like and it is basically a standard kind of chocolate chip cookie base but it has basically a ton of other things thrown in so whatever you've got in your kitchen cupboards basically so it could be called kitchen cupboard cookies it could be pantry cookies i suppose they could be called whatever you want but it's essentially just a cookie that's got lots of stuff in it oh stuff cookies we're gonna start by mixing our sugars with our melted butter. So we've Can got- Can I mix that one? You want to pour that one in? Yeah. Okay. Zach, do you want to pour in the caster don't sugar? Push. No, don't push. Pour in the caster sugar, please. That's that one. It's so white as tea. And now we're going to whisk it. So go whisk for it, it Elon. Whisk it, whisk it. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. Dee dee. Dee dee. Dee dee. Almost as the colour of raisins. Oh, this is how you do the pro. Right, now we're going to crack one egg. Egg. Oh, look! Guys! Twins! Twin. That could have... Those could have turned into chicks! 
We just got a double yoka twin egg, boys. Yeah. Double yoka. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. I've made it um softer than you and whisk it. Most of you can make it even softer. So now we're gonna add our flour. This is normal plain flour, and we're gonna sieve it. Sieve it. And sieve it. Sieve it. Sieve it. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Of baking soda or bicarbonate soda, one or the other. Right, Zachary. Yeah, me. Come here. Can you hold the handle on the sieve and just shake it really gently? That's it. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Folding it just means really gently mix in the flour. Okay, really gently. Really gently. That's it. Now that we've got the um, dough, we're gonna add all of our trash can bits. So, then the the trash. Trash. we've got, <laughs> they're not from the trash, no. We've got some pretzel thins. Mm. I can't put in. And okay. these are, these are just like thin pretzels and I've broken them up a little bit. What's this? <laughs> What's that? And we've got some nuts, all different kinds of nuts. I'll put in the We've white got chocolate. white chocolate and milk chocolate. Milk chocolate's mine. Well, it's all well, got, it can all go in at once. So, Eli, do you want to pour in, well, pour one of them in. I'm pouring pretzels. You think you're doing the nuts. Pouring the pretzels. Good boy, Zach. Zach's doing the nuts. Should we put the chocolate you in? You push me. I don't push you now. I did push you Did he? Oh, look at that chocolate. You got it? Yay! Avery do Yay. it. Avery mix it. Avery Yummy. Mix it, mix it. Yummy. Yummy. Oh, Yummy. I think I'll eat my mouth. Oh. We're gonna pop this in the fridge. Boys, you're driving me batty. Stop arguing. We're gonna put it in the fridge, okay, for 30 minutes. All right? 30 minutes? And that gives mummy some time to clean up. You sip wine, I drink straight. Don't waste time to my place. I feel my heart erase. So catch me if I come to terms with the fact that I really need to start planning, prepping for our trip to Spain since we're less than two weeks out now and the next two weeks have filled up so quickly. I'm going to be so, so busy. A few more appointments have come up for Avery. She now has um, a dentist appointment, which I'm really pleased about because we've been waiting for Avery to be referred to a specialist dentist for ages. Um, I'm not sure if I've actually mentioned kind of the struggle we have with brushing Avery's teeth. Um, so essentially every time, okay? Every time we brush her teeth. Who's this? Who's this? Every time we brush her teeth, we're essentially putting her at risk of aspiration um, because she does struggle with the toothpaste and she struggles with anything being in her mouth in general. It just kind of builds up saliva in her mouth and then she struggles with that. So it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, and then not only that, actually getting to her teeth is really difficult. She's got a bit of a film of yellow on her molars. 
And every time I brush her teeth, I... Oh, well done! You got him! Good girl! Um, I try my best to really try and give those back teeth a good scrub, but it's so difficult to get to them. And then Avery clamps down and she sticks her tongue out and she gags and... It's just not a nice experience every time we brush her teeth. I'm not going to lie, I don't do it every day. Um, I know that I should, obviously. I know that she should be having her teeth brushed every day. However, I'm just, I'm too nervous about the aspiration risk. You guys know that if Avery gets any kind of illness, including aspiration pneumonia, and she gets a fever, she goes into seizures. And for me, that is just a bigger risk than... Um, her teeth perhaps not being quite as healthy as they should be it's a really tricky one and this is exactly why we've been waiting for a specialist dentist referral so we can get some advice maybe some tips on what we can do to keep her teeth healthy without um actually brushing her teeth and putting her at risk of aspiration so we've got that appointment this week she's also got oh you turned him on well done there he is he's gonna keep talking now intermittently but anyway she's also got um her eeg appointment her shorter eeg appointment on friday now um which is just another appointment that's just cropped up out of the woodwork i know we've been waiting for it but the next two weeks are just gonna be so busy for me um i don't expect them to I don't expect them to find anything in the EEG now, by the way, if you can hear the washing machine, I'm sorry, it's on a spin at the moment. Um, because the twitches have stopped. Ever since we gave her the Clobazam and we put her on Tapiramate, they've stopped. So I don't expect them to find anything, um, but it is just kind of a tick box the doctors want to do. Um, One, you're my best friend. They did say if the seizures stopped with the medicine, um, it probably would have been epileptic anyway. The clobazam would have stopped them, whether it was epileptic or dystonia or anything like that. The clobazam probably would have stopped them because they would have put her body into kind of um, a weaker state. However, I would have thought if it was dystonic and this was just a symptom of her dystonia that she was going to start displaying now, I would have thought that by the time the clobazam was out of her system, the twitches would have come back. I suspect that they probably were epileptic. Brigham, good girl. I suspect they probably... <laughs> Your giraffe is very rude, he's interrupting me. Um, I suspect that they were epileptic and... Um, the clobazam broke the cycle and hopefully potentially the tapiramate is keeping them away that is what i suspect but long story short i've got a lot on over the next couple of weeks so i, I need to start getting prepped for this trip so that i don't end up in a manic last minute rush because i hate that <laughs> um so like I was saying, I'm just writing a little bit of a packing list. I am challenging myself a little bit here because it's okay. Because um, we are gonna be traveling with backpacks only. So that is personal items only. A, because it saves money and B, because it saves time. It means that we don't have to check any cases. We can just go straight through. If we could do online checking, we just, are you trying to eat him? We can go straight through to security. And also it's less for me to handle. It's just me and the three bye boys. Bye. So it's less for me to handle. It's less for me to carry. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. Now the challenge is I have to fit five days worth of stuff for all four of us into these backpacks and they can only be small i'll add we are flying i think with easyjet on the way there but we're flying with ryanair on the way back and ryanair have very strict very small personal item dimensions so it is going to be a bit of a challenge but i think my um idea is we're going to be chilling the entire time. It's going to be a really chill holiday. There's nothing we really need to get dressed up for. There's not a lot of stuff that we're going to need. 
so the boys oh. i'm gonna be packing them maybe ah. <laughs> does that tickle ah. <laughs> maybe four to five t-shirts um a couple of shorts to wear in the evening and then a couple one to two pairs of swim shorts those are the clothes for the boys for myself i'm going to be taking a few bikinis maybe two three maybe two really lightweight cover-ups the ones that i wore in orlando i know that they're lightweight and they fold up really really small i don't need more than that for four and a half days and then just a few really lightweight dresses for the evenings i'm not going to take any hair tools um in terms of toiletries i'm going to be taking very minimal makeup because i've got no one to impress since my husband won't be there i want to take just enough so that i don't feel grubby so i feel good in myself but i really don't feel the need to make an effort um not taking any hair tools i figured i could just plait my hair and make it wavy if i really feel the need to make it look nice it's gonna be wet half the time anyway and i very much doubt i'll wash it more than once there because it's only five days so if i wash my hair before we go um i'm hoping i can make whatever style i put into my hair last maybe a couple of days and then I'll wash it. So I'm gonna take the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bottles of shampoo and conditioner, tiny little travel size bottles. Um, hotels usually have soap, so that will be fine. Um, sun cream will be a big thing because naturally we need to take a lot of sun cream. I did think about maybe just buying sun cream at the airport because then we wouldn't need to use any of our allowance in our bags, but I, I, I hate last minute things. So I've bought some little travel size sun creams, obviously liquid allowance. We go in hand luggage only, which means we can only take bottles under hundred milliliters. So I've got some travel um, sun creams to take. I've got about five bottles of factor 50. Bearing in mind, I have two little gingers that I'm taking with me that I very much need to make sure are covered in sun cream and they will be um eli not sorry not eli marley and zach are also taking uv vests um just to lessen the risk of them burning eli's absolutely fine obviously i plastered all three of them in factor 50 um but eli um his skin takes well to the sun he doesn't burn as long as he's got sun cream on whereas even with sun cream um marley and zach would probably burn so yeah that's my challenge to pack everything oh also towels um i thought about just risking it and see if we could use the hotel towels but once again i hate last minute and i hate risk so i'm gonna try and cram our beach towels into the bags as well um so we'll see i mean i can lose clothes if i really really need to i can lose the boys t-shirts or some of the boys t-shirts and just um Maybe take a few that I can rotate, soak them in the sink overnight, um, dry them on the balcony and kind of keep reusing. Um, so I've got some ideas to save space if I really, really, really need to, but I'm hoping that everything I've got on my list I'll be able to I'll be able to fit into the rucksacks. Uh, but that's as far as I've got at the minute. Um, I would like to pull out the clothes that I'm gonna take or plan to take from the boys wardrobes and drawers and put them to one side just so that they don't get worn i can keep them to one side iron them when i get time to iron them but they're not going to get caught up in the washing rotation um and i know that i've got them put to one side but alongside packing for me and the boys i also need to pack for avery as well because obviously josh is taking her to wales so i need to make sure all of her stuff is packed it's okay so same thing again i just want to make sure all of her clothes are pulled out of her wardrobes just to make sure i've got them to one side ready to iron and pack um obviously a lot more goes into just clothes when it comes to packing for avery but i think i'm going to do the majority of the packing next week i just kind of wanted to make sure that things were tucked out of the way ready to kind of be ironed and packed so it's so what are you showing at what are you shouting at hey so yeah that is my plan i'm gonna do that in a little bit it's almost time to get avery in her stander as well <gasps> so we'll be oh yes we'll be doing that soon won't we hey <coughs> yeah i'm getting her back up to good times with her stander again now um i'm hoping her tolerance is building again but like i said she is still 
she is still weaning up on the tapiramate, so she is not quite herself 100%. Although this morning, and I know this must have happened to tons of um, parents with tube-fed children, um, I was doing all of her meds, giving her all of her meds this morning, her morning meds, and just as, it's okay, just as I put the tapiramate in, I clamped it, unscrewed the syringe, um, and apparently I didn't clamp it hard enough because it all came back out. Now when something like that happens, obviously you've got two options. You can assume that none of it actually went in, it all came out and re-administer. I don't like doing that because what if there's a chance that there was still some left in the tube? So I don't know if she's had her tapiramate dose. I know she hasn't had all of it. I don't know how much of her tapiramate dose she's had this morning. Um, I'm not too worried about it purely because we are still weaning up. She's still got two more days of the 0.5 mil twice a day until we go up to one mil twice a day. So I'm not worried about it, but these things do happen. Um, it's happened more than once to us where we've not clamped her tube properly and we've ended up covered in stomach contents, which is always lovely, isn't it, Bird? So I uh, remember yesterday I told you guys I was going to show you the books that I was collecting and then I completely forgot to, so I thought I would attempt to show you them now, however, with Missy Moo in my arms, it's not always easy. What's the matter? Are you trying to look at yourself? Go on then. Who's that? Who's that? Can you say hi to everyone? Can you say hi? What about this? Can you say, mommy? <laughs> this is something new that we've been doing. And uh, every time I say it, for some reason, she smiles. Can you say, mommy? Well, you're showing me up now. That's kind of a half smile, but you're kind of showing me up there, pudding. Normally she gives me a beaming smile when I say it. I don't know why, but it's nice to think that she's smiling at the word mummy, so. I've got something stuck to my foot now. I swear, summer holidays. Oh, it's a raisin, ew. The summer holidays bring me this close to a mental breakdown every year. So, the books. If I maybe zoom in the camera, just so you can see a little bit better. So these are the cookbooks here that I've been collecting. Um, so obviously you've already seen my Mary Berry book. I did take off the outer sleeve, so now it's just a beige cover. Um, this is Mary Berry at home, and I picked that one up in a charity shop. Um, these two here, I'm not too sure how well you can see them, the um, Delia collection. I've got chocolate and soup. I found both of those two in a charity shop as well. So I was really happy with those. Um, Cook with Jamie, found this at the car boot. A nice big one as well and I only paid a pound for that. So really happy with that purchase. Another one here found in the charity shop, Jamie's 30 Minute Meals. I do really enjoy Jamie Oliver recipes, especially at Christmas time. Um, the outer sleeve wasn't neutral, however, when I looked um, under the sleeve, I realized it was gray. So I thought that that would fit in nicely. Um, this one, the cocktail edit, found that in a car boot. This one was not from a car boot, the Naked Cookbook, but I really love the look of it and it's got some really nice kind of raw recipes in there. Um, I quite like the look of the um, infused oil recipes that are in there, but this one was from eBay, um, but I know that they also do this one on Amazon as well, so if I find it, which I will, um, I have seen it on Amazon, but I will link it below. Up top here. These are not cookbooks, so these are what I'm calling coffee table books. Um, this one here, A New Leaf, I think this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is from TK Maxx. Um, I didn't actually realise that they sold coffee table books, but um, I found that one and picked it up because I really like the colour of it. And eventually I will get the aesthetic that I want with my decor. In the meantime, I'm just collecting all the bits and bobs to get me there. So. Um, this one I also found in TK Maxx. Now this isn't a coffee table book, this is actually a children's book, but the colours on this are so gorgeous. This is called The Wolf, the Duck and the Mouse. How beautiful are the colours on that? 
Um, and the fact that it's a children's book, I just thought it was worth picking up because A, it would make a really nice decor piece um, in Avery's bedroom when she gets a bigger bedroom. I would say at the minute I just don't have room for big bits of decor like that because that's quite a big book. Um, but also, it is actually a book that I can read to her, so I thought I'd pick that one up. Um, it was quite cheap actually in TK Maxx. And then here I've obviously got my um, three photo books for Avery, our wedding day, and Orlando. I have ordered um, Zach and Eli's baby photo, photo books. Um, I went online and made those, designed those the other day and those are en route to us so um that kind of completes my collection i feel like this is a really awful angle i'm sorry um that completes my collection i think up to date i think my plan for now what i'm gonna do is at the end of every year i'm gonna make a photo book for the entire year so um at the end of this year start of next year i'll make one for 2023 and then hopefully i'll be able to do that every single year and then hopefully over the years i'll have a nice collection and that'll be something really lovely to pass down when the kids are a bit older um but moving on this one was one i picked up in um a car boot and i'm not gonna lie um the name is a bit uh yeah i actually picked this one up solely because i fell in love with the colors it's actually a book um all about succulents and cactus and caring for them i don't think it's focusing but i really loved the color of that one so i thought it'd make a really nice kind of decorative book um but who knows one day i might um buy a succulent or a cactus i used to have some actually and i killed them so maybe if i buy another one then uh, that will that book will actually help me keep them alive um and then this one here isn't a coffee table book that is letters to my daughter that was actually a gift from my best friend and essentially um what that is is like a kind of diary so when i feel like it i sit and write down a little note to avery what's going on in life, how she's doing, how I'm feeling, that kind of thing. And when she's older, um, she can keep that and it'll be nice for her to look back on. Um, I do actually have another book, um, well, kind of similar to that one, um, that I completely filled up and it was kind of the same sort of thing, but for her first two years. I think I stopped that one, that one when she was about two. Um, but again, it's it's just it's nice for her to look back and read about her childhood, her babyhood. Um, a little bit like these videos, really. I'm hoping that one day Avery will um, look back on these videos and watch them and just kind of get to see all of the memories and things that she may not remember. And hopefully, she doesn't um, feel mortified with me. Um, but only time will tell on that one eh puds um she's getting a bit fussy being in my arms oddly enough so i'm gonna pop her down for a minute sort these clothes out quickly <sighs> and then it'll be standard time so i will probably catch up with you guys now maybe on thursday because we've got little harbour tomorrow which i'm really really excited about <coughs> yeah um, but because of the timings of when it is in the day, I very much doubt I'll have time to pick up the camera. If I do manage to get any snippets on my phone, then obviously I will insert them. Um, but I will catch up with you on Thursday.
afternoon guys, it is actually Wednesday, not Thursday. Um, we not long got back from Little Harbour, was lovely as usual. I didn't end up taking any snippets of our day purely because this morning I woke up with a raging headache. I am pretty sure it was a migraine. Um, it woke me up at about quarter to six. Um, I took some paracetamol and was able to sleep again until about seven when Avery woke up and then we had to start getting ready to go. Um, I've taken another lot of paracetamol since then and I've still just got this dull headache that just gets worse every time the paracetamol wears off so yeah that is why I had a really bad headache pretty much the entire day. Um, it was still a really lovely visit nonetheless. Um, Avery had a different nurse today so we got to meet another member of staff who was really really lovely and um we went in the sensory room my mum took avery in the hydrotherapy pool which she really enjoyed zach went in as well um we spent some time in the living room just having a chat with the nurse while avery was having her feed um zach played in the soft play he was pretty much off with the sips team the entire time once again and um they are gonna put um a request in for another weekend stay for us very soon i did say i was a little bit concerned about you know constantly putting requests in i said we only came for a stay a month ago i'm just worried that there are other families that you know may need it more and we might be taking their place and the nurse said that the admin team will kind of always kind of look at when you last stayed and make it fair for everyone so i needn't worry about that so she is going to put another request in for us soon which i'm really looking forward to um yeah it was just um basically a day of doing nothing which was exactly what we needed by doing nothing i meant doing nothing like chores i suppose so yeah really really nice day really glad that my mom got to see it she was really impressed by it so much so that she's dying to volunteer or do some kind of fundraising for them now um because that is just the feeling you get you just get this overwhelming feeling of gratefulness when you go and that's how i felt anyway and i know that my mom felt the same so yeah really lovely day um but i'm gonna close this vlog off here and then pick you up in a brand new vlog tomorrow because like i said i do have a couple of appointments towards the end of this week avery has a dentist appointment tomorrow we've got an appointment with the new um community nurse tomorrow and then she also has her eeg on friday um so obviously i'm gonna update you on uh, what goes on in them appointments and yeah, so I'll pick you up in a fresh vlog tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this one and um, subscribe to follow us along on our journey and I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye guys.